Hello everyone, today we are going to sing execute method which is used for both uh, exec both for executing select and non-select queries. So let's see first of all we will create here a table. So here create table test2 with employee id integer and employee name with where care to of such 10 let's uh, yes here table created now we will insert the values so insert values into test here insert into test 2 values first value we will insert 1 and vj then second one is we will insert here add the 2 rajesh so here our table is created now select star from test 2 so here our table is created now let's see how can we write a jdbc application so here first step is load jdbc driver in uh, latest versions of oracle the jdbc driver is automatically loaded so let's create connection get connection so connection con equals to driver manager dot get connection so here we will write url jdbc colon oracle colon jdbc colon oracle colon thin colon at the rate local host 1521 colon orcl then username and password system and here we will write password in tiger then next step is create statement object create statement object so here we will create statement object statement st equal to con dot create statement then we will take a query from the user so get query from user so here we have to create a scanner object scanner yes n equal to new scanner scanner system dot in so next is this, take a query from user string q u e r y query equal to s n dot next line so now execute the query execute the query q u e r y so here we write what we will write boolean so execute the method returns the boolean value so here we will write boolean flag equals to execute and here st dot execute st dot execute then here we will write what we will write st dot execute query q u e r y then next step is if flag equals to equals to true then it is a which query it is select query select query else it is a non-select query else it is non-select query so if, if flag equals to two then we will uh, take result set result set res equal to st dot get result res u 
lt get result set and we will retrieve the results so while rs dot next so here we will print the data so system dot out dot print ln rs dot get string at one position then we will create here space then plus rs dot get string at second so here is completed now let's see second this is if flag is uh, false then it is no select query so it will return the count so here we will create int count equal to st dot get update count and here we will print if count equals equal to zero then here we will write system dot out dot print alien no record updated else here we will write system dot out dot print alien number of records affected is count c o u n t count so here now let's last step is close the connections con dot close so here first of all connection then statement then write query uh, take a uh, input from user for query then if flag is true then it is a uh, select query so uh, take a result set and retrieve the data the next step is non select query if uh, flag is uh, false then we will get update count at the last close the connection and I, I have forgot here to commit so commit commit it completed now let's compile and run the program so here i will compile java c college dot java scanner oh, here i have to import import java dot util dot star now let's see again compile and run so here our program is compiled now run the code java college what is this sql no suitable driver program jdbc for an oracle o oracle spelling ORA. oracle now let's see java c college dot java executed now run the code java java college now here enter the query so i have to write here system dot out dot print ln and enter the query here we write system dot out dot print ln enter the select or non select query and colon let's now let's execute java c college dot java so now let's run the code java college so enter the select or non select query first of all we will write here select query so select star from what is table name or is uh, test2 select star from test2 select star from test2 and uh, let's execute so here we get the data now let's run again java college so now we will give no one select query update test2 set employee name equals to allu where employee id equals to 1 so i have to update this now let's execute and see 
number of rep of affected is one now let's see here select star from test 2 so here we can see the data is updated one is value so in this way we can perform select and non select queries by using execute method so the code is uh, will be in the description